and welcome to the Self-Leadership Podcast. I'm Morgan and I'm here to help you embody your leader self and become unshakable through energy healing techniques and personal development coaching. Hi! Today, let's talk about energy and recalibrating your energy to improve your business and create a life you're excited to wake up to. So, this episode is mostly for entrepreneurs But the principle is the same for anyone who is trying to achieve their goals, whether it's professional or relationships, anything, okay? So, I want to start by saying that you were not meant to live a life of hustle and struggle, and you know that, right? So, let's go further and let's make your dream happen. I know how it feels to be spending hours working on your business and yet not seeing results that you had been hoping for. Or, you know, you're doing the inner work, you're working on healing your fears, yet something still feels stuck. Like, you feel like you're missing something, if I may say so. Or you're seeing results, but not to your desired level and not consistently. So this is exhausting. First of all, know that if you're struggling, there is nothing wrong with you, okay? So it's important to stop blaming yourself and stop judging yourself because it's not going to lead you anywhere, right? So it's not your fault, but you can do something about it, okay? So you're not a victim, There are just things that you're not aware of and my goal is to raise awareness so that you can shift. So being an entrepreneur is not easy, especially when you don't have support from your loved ones or you're not from a family where there were entrepreneurs. Your loved ones obviously don't mean any harm, but they are projecting their insecurities and limitations on you. So basically everything that society wrongly taught us, right? Uh, Like, are you sure you want to do that? That's not really your job. Or think about the future. Or secure your retirement. Or whatever gloomy scenario they have running in their head. And they're just wanting to protect you by saying those things. But protect you from what? From living your dream? Obviously that's not valid, right? And usually people connect job with money. It's normal, right? And when you're not making a lot of money, yet, yet, (laughs) people don't see your efforts as work. But it really is, right? Because you're, you're working on building your business, you're doing marketing, you're creating your services, and you're building trust. So you end up putting even more pressure on your shoulders to prove people wrong and to prove them that you are right to follow your heart and make your dreams come true. And that's true, you are right, okay? In case you needed a confirmation, that is your confirmation. But there is a pressure to to prove them wrong that can be your motor sometimes. It can give you this, uh, this push, right? But this is still fear-based. And because we are all human, people's doubts are sometimes rubbing on us. So sometimes you have doubts and even if you know in your guts, in your heart, in your soul that you are meant to live from your purpose, from your soul mission, from your passion, from your gifts, Because this journey is full of ups and downs, sometimes it's easy to start doubting. It's human, okay? So you have the certitude, you have the knowing that you can change people's life with your business, your gifts, your talents, and that is a fact. But you're not seeing people, you're not really finding clients, you're you're struggling and you're hearing crickets. And sometimes you might also be feeling awkward or have this sinking feeling in your stomach when comes the time to talk about prices. You also struggle to actually put a price on your services. 
Do you feel bad to be charging quote unquote a lot of money? Or you're feeling icky to set a price for your services? So you either do things for free or you undercharge your genius, which is leaving you depleted and frustrated. So please know that you are not alone. There are many other entrepreneurs who feel that way and there is nothing wrong with you. And your life right now does not define your future. You have the ability to change everything and it starts within yourself. So the reason why you're feeling stuck in spite of your hard work, well, there are different things causing you to feel that way and creating blocks in your energy field and also in your subconscious mind. So this is making it a bit slower and harder to attract your dream clients and to reach your income goals and beyond. Like, you know, growth is infinite. So before you blame or judge yourself, remember two things. Everything is energy, back to basics, right? And second, our subconscious mind rules 90 to 95% of our reality. As humans, we have been programmed to live in fear for thousands of years. Fear has always been used to dominate because a people who is afraid is a people who obeys and forgets their power. That is a fact. Think about the times of kings when farmers had to pay tax on salt and if they wouldn't, they would be punished. Think about witches' hunts when women were accused of being witches for remembering their extrasensory perceptions that are part of human nature and they would be able to cure others with herbs, for example. This is also another fact. And I'm not even talking about times of wars and tortures, the emotional and mental impact that wars have on humans. I could go on and on, but you get the point. Fear has been passed on generations after generations. And that's how it is. There is no blaming or judging here, right? Just stating facts. Now remember your childhood. How many times were you punished for accidentally spilling a glass of water or breaking auntie's favorite decoration as you were innocently playing as a child and you were yelled at? even if everyone thought that auntie's decoration was ugly and they were happy that you broke it, you still got yelled at, right? So this, for example, taught you that having fun and being carefree isn't safe. And this has taught you that happiness doesn't last, right? So you always need to be on your guards because shit happens if you excuse my French. But of course, that's not the truth. But that's what has been your reality as a child. And like, for example, at school, you, you were not necessarily punished, but you had a bad mark and you were shamed because you didn't do your homework or whatever. So it, it really, it's really about conforming. So therefore, running your business and earning a living from an activity that sets your soul on fire and makes you happy isn't safe. Even if you know better, right? Even if you know that's not true. It's still in your subconscious mind because it's associated to strong emotions, moments when as a child you did not feel that your primary needs were met. And let's not forget about the good old past life vows. I made a, an episode, uh, let me tell you the date, actually on the 23rd of February. I'm recording this on the 20th of February. So it's titled, The Reason Why You're Stuck in Your Business or Relationships, How Outdated Soul Contracts Can Create Hindrance in Your Life and How to Free Yourself. So I really recommend that you check this episode out if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you. <laughs> So past life vows also need to be taken into consideration. So I'm just going to summarize, but like I said, go and listen to the full episode. But 
just to take an example, if you made a vow of poverty in a past life, this might still be blocking your ability to increase or create or increase your prosperity. A vow of silence might make you struggle with speaking up or having your voice heard. And then you also have everything that is related to trauma, whether they happened in this lifetime or other lives, okay? Everything that is held in your energy field and your subconscious mind is still impacting you to an extent and it might be at play when you're working on reaching your next level. Once again, it's human, it's common, and it can be changed. So how energy works, in short, okay? Your energy field and subconscious mind, but remember everything is energy, so even what's in your subconscious mind is still energy to an extent, right? So energy field, subconscious mind, hold trauma, false beliefs, past life contracts and vows, transgenerational patterns, etc. Your heart desires joy, money, soul aligned clients, expansion, love, all the good things in life, rightly so. Your mind is consciously aware of limitations, so all those what-if questions and doubts, yet it knows, like you consciously know your heart's desires are possible. So you see the conflict here? So it's like conflicting energies are present in your energy field and the universe is not really sure what to send you because it's like, Yes, I want it. No, I'm scared to use a picture. Thoughts are electric. Emotions are magnetic. When you have both working in alignment, you can attract and manifest, aka create. Okay? But if the signal is blurred and consider all these things like trauma, false beliefs, etc., past life vows, consider it as crambler. A scrambler that is blurring the signal and this creates inconsistency and blocks. Okay? So, the universe responds to frequencies. That's what the law of attraction and the law of resonance are about. Okay? And the law of least resistance as well, because energy goes where it can flow first. Look at water. Water will always go where it can flow. Energy is the same. But the time of limitations and blocks is over. You are here because you are ready to let go of all kinds of limitations to expanding from within. No business or marketing strategy on earth can ever replace your inner power and your voice, your creative juice, your unique essence, your talents, your soul gifts. And everything that I have mentioned before, like the mind programming, the false beliefs, soul wounds, transgenerational patterns can be removed and cleared from your energy field and your subconscious mind. And it doesn't have to take you ages. You can accelerate your results. And I've been studying this for years. I have a client who has no issue with prosperity. He built a very, very successful business. He is very famous. And he came to me because he had a block. We worked together. Seven days after, he created his dream. The block was removed from his energy field and seven days after he created his deepest desire. So that's what I call the recalibration session. So right now, now I have the business recalibration session. I'm also offering the general recalibration with an energy cleanse and I'm soon going to launch a relationship recalibration session to remove subconscious blocks to attracting or creating a divine relationship, whether you are single or already in a relationship, if you're craving deeper connection. So this is also very, very exciting. And so 
these are designed to help you remove subconscious blocks, mind programmings and soul or karmic contracts that are preventing you from reaching your next level. And what does that look like for your business? You will attract your dream clients who will gladly pay you for your knowledge and expertise. You will become magnetic. You will find your voice. Your true self is going to come back up. You will finally see the results of your actions. You will turn your dreams into a goal, a goal into a project, and a project into reality. You will embody your leader self and charge for your services or your products in a way that is balanced. No more betraying yourself, no more undercharging. You will fully be standing in your power as the creator of your reality and do business according to your own rules, even if it defies rational sense and logic. And actually, not even if, but especially if, right? Because we are here to break the mold. We are here to break limitations. If you're listening to this podcast right now, you know you are not meant to follow the programming from society or the traditional rational rules right? You can create more emotional, mental and financial freedom for yourself and your loved ones. You can feel at peace, more joy. You go to bed every night feeling accomplished and you feel excited to wake up the next morning because you have clarity. So all this, I'm I'm offering different options like single sessions, a session with pocket coaching, two-month program and the six-month life alchemy. You can check the details on my website and I will leave the link in the description of this podcast. And when you clear blocks and limitations, you have a better understanding, better awareness, whether it is awareness of your environment or self-awareness, better discernment of your own energy and what is not yours. When you feel other people's feeling, you can tell, oh, that's not mine. And you know what to do for yourself when you feel off and you can shift it with ease instantly. You can become aware of the energies and be aligned with the present moment, which aligns you with the highest timeline, your highest vibrational reality, so that you can reach your goals in an accelerated way. And you unleash your potential like never before. You're not playing small anymore. You ditch the fear of leaving people behind because you understand that they also can claim their power and unleash their potential too. So you show the way. And you achieve these results by enhancing what is already within you. You remember your soul gifts, your power. You optimize your energy system. You remove those subconscious programming. You rewire your mind for next level success. And you cultivate self-awareness. So this is done by focusing on hidden blocks and programming that we all have to an extent as humans, right? Reconnecting you with yourself. You heal yourself. You overcome resistance. Your bl- the blocks that are preventing you from, from living the life you want. Then you experience timeline shifts. You bend time. You collapse time. So if you feel you resonate with that and if you would like to know more, you can send me an email via my website or book your free clarity call. You will find all the links below. Thank you very much for listening and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!